Hello guys, today I'm talking about loading a brush and sharing the steps to load a brush with you. We're going to be loading flat brushes today and I'm going to load two different ways. I'm going to load on a foam plate and I'm going to load in the double loader. Some people have no double loaders in their country, so I like to share that with you um, and also doing the foam plate. So what we're going to do first is share with you um, about picking up the colors that we want to use first. And so I can use, I'm going to use a couple of colors that really show on the white plate. All right, so I'm going to use multi-surface paint because it goes on many surfaces and it's easier to not have to worry about it not staying. It's got a sealer in it. It's pretty wonderful. And then I'm going to pick up a, a dark green. So you could use a citrus, uh, a bright green, or this one is daffodil yellow. And then this is going to be thicket. So I'm going to put the two colors. And I want you to see they're kind of close to each other. All right. So that's about an inch. And then I tap it. All right. Then I'm going to take the three quarter. This is my Donna DeBerry signature signature brushes and I'm going to use that or you can use my value pack of teachers um, or students brushes. All right, these say folk art one stroke Donna DeBerry on them and they're dark green and and the new signature brushes um, are lavender and white. Okay, so I dip water lay here on the paper towel let the excess moisture go out. Then you can go in between the two, okay? And if you're just right, you can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now I want, if I was doing um, a flower, I might want it to not be half and half. This is half and half, and it's about two thirds of the brush. Now, what I'm gonna, it might be one third, and two thirds, so whatever, it is still double loading with two colors. All right, so I push really quick first and hard. Okay, and then after that, I would then come in here, I can dip, dip, go back and forth, and just have it nice on the surface of the brush. All right, so let me show you what happens here. If I'm stroking here, one, two, three, the starter stroke. And then I stand up, stand up, and slide. All right, so see the shading? Now, what happens is sometimes you don't have the color next to each other. So you decide which one you want to dip and which one you want to stroke next to the puddle. All right, so I can dip the yellow and come right here and side stroke. It's called side stroking. I'm going to side stroke the thicket. Okay, so dip the yellow just on the corner. Now there's a lot of paint, but it's not dripping the paint. And then I come right here and work it in. All right, now I can put my medium on here. This is the floating medium. This is a new bottle, it's got a new label. All right. And this is, I have in two ounce and eight ounce on onestroke.com. That's the site you would go to. One, O-N-E, stroke.com. So those are the old bottles. So you might see some of those out there too. So eight ounce or two ounce. All right, so if I want to use this, I would then dip into here and then work it in and only go into the medium every third to fourth stroke, unless it's very, very dry. Now, so then I'm going to stroke and stand up. Now, if you're loaded right, you're going to get this nice blend. And I want to show you if I don't load, I'm going to have, I'm going to keep dipping. All right, so here's putting too much. All right. So this, these three 
start being a problem because you see these little streaks in here, the yellow is not blended, then there's too much yellow and then too much heavy green. All right, now you might not be able to see as well as I want you to see on there, but if you're loading properly, you're gonna have no problem. All right, now this is what people do. They come here and they go back and forth and they hit the wrong one and do the wrong color and then they have mud. So then this is what you get. Then you're gonna get mud. Okay, can you see the problem? That might not look bad, but if you're seeing it close with me, that looks bad, okay? So now that's one way, and I can keep dipping in my medium, but then my medium, I'll get all into my, into my work, and then it's even more messy, okay? So then what happens is you have muck, all right? And I know for me cleaning, you're going to rake along the base, and I'll show you that in a minute. Hi, did you hear me talk about floating medium? We don't use water with one stroke painting unless we're using our script liner. So floating medium is a great bottle. It looks just like that. And it comes in two ounce and eight ounce. And that's what I use when I feel like I need water. And it makes the painting feel like butter when you're stroking. Okay, so now what I want to show you is I'm going to pick up paint because I have a lot of paint here. And I'm gonna put it in here so we're ready. And I'm gonna pick up some yellow and put it next to it. But sometimes it might be way over in another cubby so you could dip the corner and come over here. All right, now this double loader really makes a difference in you loading. Also, I put the medium in the middle. Can you see the medium? because I don't like my medium to just run all over into my paint, okay? Now let me show you, after I put my paint, I go like that and it makes it touch. Okay, this is very important. I wet it, I dry it, then I'm gonna come in between. So I might do one fourth, one third, or half. So I'm gonna come here and I pick up paint. Then I go to a, a, now I split the brush to do this. This helps control you from getting muddy. Then right here, I just go back and forth fast. Push hard and fast, back and forth. Can y'all see that? No. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and try to stay inside there. All right. Okay, now I might need a little bit more so I can get some more. Now this time, I'm doing just the surface of the brush. I'm not pushing really, really hard this time. Just the surface, okay? And then if I need more, I can come over here and just paint with this, or I can just dip yellow, or I can just dip green, whatever the brush needs. Now, I'm gonna show you how this looks when you're using the double loader. One, two, three, and stand up. Okay, we got a nice blend. Now watch me again. I'm going to pick up sap green and flatten the brush. All right, one, two, three. I ran out of paint, so I tapped a little bit of medium and stand up. Let's get some more. See, I worked it in a little bit more that time. One, two, three. See, I've got too many, too many loops there. See how smooth that graduates? That doesn't. So I'm gonna go back here and work it in. And then one, two, three. I might do four, five, six to blend it. And then I have that nice blend. Okay, so I'm gonna come up like this so you can see the colors better. All right, so it's the same. We've got, these are good too over here, but I just want you to see that's what the double loader does. Now this is what people do. 
when they by accident they go like this and and switch colors by accident and then they think everything's wrecked so this is what you do you come over you might even notice that by the time you get there you're going to come to your paper towel you're going to wipe off the outside because the inside's still right the inside's still the right color so you come back here and you pick up more yellow, more thicket, and you're ready to go again, okay? And so I can flip my brush this way, pick up more paint. Almost every stroke we pick up paint. And this is just yellow. After, oh my gosh, I have to do it again, sorry. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Now watch me. I'm picking up paint again. And I'm going to go right here. Okay, let's do it again. Here's my V and a Y. One, two, three. pull a stem in the middle and there we go all right so I want to show you also how to do the 12 all right so I'm going to wet the 12 I'm going to lay it on the paper towel then I'm going to come over here and on a 12 and smaller you can pick up all one color and you can side load the second color All right, and so then you can stroke and then come get more yellow because I have a lot of green. All right, so that's a 12 and smaller flat brush. Now the 12, you could go either way. Okay, so people say now it's not in the middle. So all you do is take the corner and move it over and move the yellow over there and you're ready so i can also pound it all right and then i'm going to grab the two colors and i can come right back here so not the 12 and higher so 12 goes either way all right so when we do the 12 we can take one two three we can scrub one, two, three, scrub, and pull the stem. So there we go. All right. So the loader is wonderful. This is how you do a flat brush with it. And come back next. I'm going to show you how we clean our brushes.